Good morning, everybody, and welcome to story time. We've got a lot we're going to do today, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. All right, you ready, guys? Let's go. Wake up, feet. Wake up, feet. Wake up, feet. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, feet. Wake up, feet. Wake up, feet, wiggle in the morning. Wake up, hands. Wake up, hands. Wake up, hands. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, hands. Wake up, hands. Wake up, the wiggle in the morning. Wake up, ears. Wake up, ears. Wake up, ears. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up, ears. Wake up, ears. Wake up, the wiggle in the morning. Good job, everybody. Oh, you're doing so good, Mr. Monkey. All right, are you ready for the next one? Let's go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Good guys. Oh, y'all are doing so good. All right. So, what are we were talking about? That's right. Next week we start school, don't we? Now, whether you're going to be at home starting school or you're actually going to be going to school, school, or you're going to be homeschooling with your parents this year, we all get to learn so much new and cool stuff, right? Yes. So, with that in mind, we are going to go to school with Click, Clack, Quack to School by Doreen Cronin and Betsy Lewin. Um, I think we're going to have a good time. And it is published by Athenum Books for Young Readers. All right, guys. Click, clack, clack to school. On Monday, Seth brought a letter to Farmer Brown. Some of it was written in crayon. Dear Farmer Brown, please be our guest at our third day lunch tomorrow. Bring the animals too. Love, Luca Meyer Elementary School. P.S. What is your favorite color? P.P.S. How old are you? P.P.P.S. We have a family. Farmer Brown was so excited. He had not been invited to the school in a very, very, very long time. He must be an animal friend. We are going to school tomorrow. We must get ready. The town had never been to school. They were so excited. They stopped the clock and School is very quiet, said Farmer Brown. Birds and hunters, no stopping, or no, 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 no. The cows were not so excited anymore. The chickens, we are going to school tomorrow, Farmer Brown told the chickens. The chickens had never been to school. They were so excited. They clacked and snapped and cluck, cluck, cluck. School is very serious, said Farmer Brown. There is no crackling, no snapping, and no cluck, cluck, clucking. The chickens were not so excited anymore. Farmer Brown arrived at the pig pen. We are going to school tomorrow, he announced. The pigs had never been to school. They were so excited. They hooted and hollered and oink, oink, oink. School is very clean, said Farmer Brown. There is no hooting. There is no hollering. And no oink, oink, oinking. The pigs were not so excited anymore. 
Farmer Brown arrived at the farm. Duck was meditating. We are going to school tomorrow, said Farmer Brown, and there will be no shelter, clapping, snapping, camping, zombies, or howling. Duck breathed in slowly. And try not to be so ducky said Farmer Brown. Duck breathed out slowly and deeply. Farmer Brown handed out the rule books and the animals studied all night. No stomping, no bumping, no roaring, no clapping, no snapping, no cluck, cluck, no shooting, no hollering, no oink, oink, oinking. Don't be ducky. The next morning, they lined up quietly in front of the truck with no stomping, no clomping, clapping, snapping, hooting, or hollering. Farmer Brown was so proud. They were quiet and still on the ride to school. The cows were not mooey. The chickens were not clucky. The pigs were not oinky. Duck breathed in slowly and deeply. Duck breathed out slowly and deeply. Farmer Brown was so proud. When they arrived, they got off the truck quietly and waited in the empty schoolyard. The school seemed quiet, serious, and calm. And then the bell rang for recess. The door flew open and Duck was filled with wiggling and giggling and jumping and clunking. And chattering, squeaking, and squealing, and zooming, and zagging. So the cows got mooey and stomp, clomp, stomp. And the chickens got clucky, clap, snap, clap. And the pigs got oinky and holler, hoot, holler. And the mice read graphic novels in the street. Inside the school, Duck was just Ducky. The end. Oh, wow. So it looks like Farmer Brown was like, no, it's all serious. And so they all took it very serious, didn't they? They went to school. They were like, we're not going to crack. We're not going to stomp. We're not going to oink. We're not going to snap. And then what happens? Yes! The kids came out and were wiggling and giggling and squealing and having a great time, weren't they? That was fun, wasn't it? Alright, guys. So, I have a new rhyme for you today. Alright. I think we're going to have some fun with it. Oh, alright. Oh, it's my book club. This is called Milkshake. So today we're going to learn how to make a milkshake, all right? So you're going to follow me, all right? You take a little milk and you take a little cream. You stir them all up. You shake it and you sing. Milkshake, milkshake, shake it up. Shake it up. Milkshake, milkshake. Uh, all right, yeah. So we're gonna do a new rhyme today, okay? And we'll walk you through it. And the name of it is called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. That's right. We read a book a couple of weeks ago, didn't we? Called One, Two, Buckle My Shoe. Yes, we did. All right, so we're going to go over it real quick, 
and we're going to hear the words. All right, so listen and watch me see you do the motion. You ready? One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, gonna pick up sticks. Seven, eight, gonna leave them straight. Nine, ten, gonna do it again. Very good, guys. Okay, now let's do it all together. You ready? Me too. Let's go. One, two, better buckle my shoe. Three, four, you better shut the door. Five, six, I'm gonna pick up sticks. Seven, eight, I'm gonna lay them straight. Nine, ten, we're gonna do it again. Very good, guys. Okay, let's do it one more time. All right? All right, let's go. One, two, gonna buckle my shoe. Three, four, we're gonna shut the door. Five, six, we're gonna pick up six. Seven, eight, we're gonna lay them straight. Nine, ten, we're gonna do it again. Very good, guys. All right, so who's ready for our next story? Me too. Me too. All right. So, our next one is just kind of for fun, right? We like to read fun stories, don't we? Yes, we do. All right. This one is called I Am a Unicorn. Story and pictures are by Michaela Shute. And it is published by Sky Pony Press. Frog, you do not live on a fluffy cloud. You cannot fly. Cow is not a fairy. You do not eat flowers or chew rainbows. You do not have magical unicorn sprinkles. And that is not a unicorn horn on your head. Okay, so. Good. Boing, 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 boing. Oh my. Where do you think all the magical unicorn sprinkles going, guys? What's happening? Boing, boing, boing. Frog, I'm sorry. You made a real good unicorn costume. Sprinkles played, and now they're woof, and woof, and woof. Oh, is that, is it a unicorn? Look at how cute she is. Look at how amazing she is. Silly. That was kind of fun though. His magical unicorn sprinkles actually 
turned him into a unicorn. Yes, he believed, and it happened. Crazy. I don't know, guys. You'll have to tell me. All right, Halloween is coming up. This is your night to turn a unicorn yourself. Hmm? All right, guys. Oh, ah. Oh. So we've got time for. That is right. It's time to dance a little, isn't it? Yeah. Are y'all ready to do the happy song? Me too. All right, get your happy up. Hey, get your happy down. Very good. In five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, so we have a new song today, and I'm going to show you the moves real quick, okay? So when we first start, we're going to be clapping, all right? Clap. Very good. All right. Our next is we're going to twist. All right. So twist. Very good. All right. March in place. March, 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 march. Good job, guys. All right. Now wave your arms for me. Yes. Good job. All right. The next part's a little harder. Okay. Circle your arms. Circle them up. Circle them down. Circle this way and circle that way and then spin. Very good, guys. Okay, this is called the happy dance and we're going to do it all together. So, you ready? Let's go. Stand up, feel the beat, and let's do the happy dance. I'm so happy, that's why I clap my hands. Because I'm feeling happy. I'm so happy, that's why I twist my hips. Because I'm feeling happy. I'm so happy, that's why I march its waist. Because I'm feeling happy. I'm so happy, that's why I wave my arms. Because I'm feeling happy.
Illustrated by Jen Hill. And with school starting next week, in one form or another, I think this is something that we all should remember, right? Okay, so this is published by Roaring Press Books, and again, it is called Be Kind. Denise is still great to be yesterday. All over her new bed. Everyone is on. Everyone is just being But Mom always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it works. I said, purple is my favorite color. I thought Denise would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, that part was over. She peed on her aunt's smock and can't be more than anyone. I almost told Denise that aunt was my favorite color, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches in olive and green until I had a tint of beautiful violet. While I painted, I thought about Denise. Should I have handed her my napkin, let her borrow my sweatshirt, spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Maybe it's giving, making cookies for Miss Sylvan Nolte, who lives alone. Maybe someone with strong feet called my white feet. Or my Maybe it's paying attention, calling down an eye or both, asking the new girl to be my partner, listening to Aunt Bonnie sing, even ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper, or recycling a bottle, or saying, thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Kayla. What's new, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi Nightbell. Medlong. Be kind can be hard, too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky. Even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone other kids aren't kind is really hard and really scary. Maybe I can't solve Denise's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things. For my small things might join small things other people do, and together they can grow into something big. Something really big. So big that 
all our partners, go out of our school and go to the post office to own a refuge from nation or hospital in Yonkers. Throughout town, don't see nothing. Travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Right, back to Tanisha and me. So we came this time, again, and again. Oh, that was a great story, wasn't it, Captain? I hope so. So, next week, remember that it's all new for everybody, and just try and be kind, okay? And I want to wish you all good luck with school starting next week. All of my pre kers and all of my kindergartens, you rock! And y'all are going to do amazing, whether you're at home, or you're online, or you're face-to-face. -face. It's going to be fabulous, and I hope y'all are excited about a new year. And I will see y'all next week. Bye, guys.